So hello everybody, I am The Alchemist, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about God of War Ragnarok. Now I am so excited <laughs> for this game. I am very curious as to where the story is going to go. I am very excited based on what I've heard and seen. Now for those of you guys that do not know, Freya, spoilers, I mean most people know this obviously, but she is the Queen of the Valkyries, and funny enough, you actually can see her wings if you go to her house, they are actually hidden on the wall, which I did not know. Now uh, John Ford, you know, the guy who does all the God of War theory videos, he's actually how I found that out, so shout out to him. Now, here's what I'm really excited for in terms of story. I'm excited because, one, I can't wait to see Freya's warrior spirit. As for those of you guys that do not know, she did release a tweet not too long ago that was a picture of her with her Valkyrie wings. And it's kind of... <laughs> I mean, honestly, you don't delete something like, like that unless it someone told you or it gave too much of the game away so that's in my humble opinion that is exactly why she did it now let's talk about god of war right my favorite thing about god of war was fighting all the valkyries like you're seeing here and that runic attack that you saw it's actually the one i use in my intro because i just i feel like thor when i use that move so that's a big reason why and this reminds me a lot of when you use like Mjolnir or something and you take a lot of electricity and charge it up. That's pretty cool. Now here's here's something that I'm I'm very curious about in the next game. Is if you guys look towards the end of the game, there is a picture in the mural, actually, it's to the right of Atreus walking with three wolves, or really Loki, because that's who he is. He's Loki. And that's really cool, because we do know in Norse mythology that Loki has... <laughs> Loki has... Loki has a wolf as a son, and the World Serpent is supposedly also his son. So, actually not supposedly, it is his son. So, that's pretty cool, which brings me back to another point. This, this, there's just so much they can do with this game. Like, especially that's coming out on PS5, which is gonna look amazing, because look at this. This is on a PS4 Pro, you're seeing. And it looks stunning. I can't imagine what the 5 is gonna look like. Is it, is the, you know. And I think one of the big things I want to see from the PS5 is the frame rating games not dropping. Like, if they can achieve that, I'd be happy. But man, God of War Ragnarok is just... I'm so excited for it. I can't I can't wait for that game. I can't wait to fight Thor. Like, in those of you that don't know, most of you know this, obviously. But if that, you know, secret ending where you go home and sleep and then you come out... Yeah, Thor is waiting for you in one of Atreus' dreams, but he said it felt real, so that's kind of an indication, in my humble opinion, that we're going to find him, so that's going to, pull, that's going to be really cool. So those are two bosses that I very likely we're going to fight in this game, and I just can't wait, because Madden and Modi, at time, like when you fight him for the first time, is really, really cool. Because they give you such a rush, like, the fact that there's four gods in one place just battling out is just a tiny sliver of what Ragnarok is supposed to be. And that right there in itself got me hyped. And just what just what different enemy types will face. Is it going to be more Draugr, or is it going to be maybe Draugr that have evolved because of how much death, <laughs> death and anger and rage they have towards life? I mean, you just, I, I don't know what they're going to do, and I'm really excited. And the big thing is Atreus. Now, Atreus has so much potential in this game, if you ask me, because for one simple reason, and he's going to be three years older, so he's going to be a teenager. He's going to be more willing to do things. Like, I don't know if you guys remember, but in the beginning of the game, 
you couldn't get Atreus to do anything. He would just sort of sit there and you'd have to sometimes, you know, he would shoot because he came up the courage. Then when you fight the first boss, or it's, you know, I don't really call him a boss, but he is technically the first boss in the game. And he actually gets the courage to use his arrows. And then the fact that you get to level him up, so he has a skill tree that was actually super useful. And that's the thing that games struggle with nowadays, is that they have these skill trees that may or may not make too much of a difference in the end goal. But in this, they do. And I, for one, I don't know about you, but that excites me more than anything. It's just the potential of combat. The combat, I want it to be the exact same. But I want Atreus to feel different, or Loki. I want Loki to feel different. And I want him to kind of embrace his Loki side a little bit more than <laughs> in this game. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys all in the next episode.